All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you haven't already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but well, most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review, and an extra review for this week, by the way, um, is the 2023 film called Kandahar, uh, starring General Butler. Uh, this went clearly under my radar, heard of it once, briefly on Instagram. Came out last month, apparently, according to Google. Uh, here's the plot. An uncover CIA operative gets stuck in hostile territory in Afghanistan after his mission is exposed. A accompanied by his translator, he must fight enemy the enemy combatants as he tries to reach an extraction point in Canada. Uh, and here's the cast. It always saddens me that ever since Travis Fimmel's big role as Ragnar on the Vikings, he's only been cast in small to medium roles since then. But I'm pleased with this, with his character's writing and what his role was in this story. His best work he's done in a while. The story to this wasn't totally what I thought it was going to go when it came to who the bad guys was. It has more than one, but the main group was surprising to me as when you think of modern Middle Eastern war films, it's normally just ISIS and or the Taliban. When the, when Even though I th didn't fully understand the guy on the bike's job uh, title, um, or what he does. I think he's like an Iranian agent, but I don't know anything about if they have that type of thing or what that what exactly was. They didn't really. I couldn't really get into understanding that, unfortunately. Uh, but he was kind of a cool character, um, even though kind of a dick. Uh, there was some pretty cool action scenes over. I was overall over. I was very impressed with how we get to see what Butler's character could see through the camera being shot through the night vision bot binoculars at night. Just very great camera shooting overall, in fact. Butler was good in this, but his character's writing was okay. Personally, couldn't get 100% invested in his character. I liked him, but not anywhere near as I could have. The guy that played the translator was great at acting, but I was feeling very frustrated with his character's writing in the first half of the film. But did love him a lot in the second film, uh, second part of the film, worth the story uh, with his story arc. But the story as a whole had plenty of deep meaning, culture, mo mostly around Muslim, um, different, and the war and of look into the war in general. Very powerful stuff. More storytelling than action, but still plenty of super good action, especially with the final battle. Now here is my rating. I'll come back to my final thoughts. To be honest, wasn't feeling the film at first, but it definitely builds and builds as it goes on. I definitely recommend this film. But either way, what are you guys' thoughts down below? Let me know. Um, so again, I'll be seeing you guys putting out a video on Saturday. So um, this film, this specific one though, wasn't expected to come out at all. I just came across it because I was looking for something to do today. Because I woke up this morning around 9 something. We're coming to the conclusion that I really don't have anything to do during the day today so um you know i might as well do a, a review for a video got to try to find something and this actually came up on amazon i didn't buy it on amazon but i, I found it on amazon uh looked at it up on itunes and got it so um you know it is what it is um but remember i love you all please stay safe spread the love make sure you do that most importantly and school